Hey, welcome back to the series that we've been doing on Sour. I've been going track by track to see if I can find a deeper meaning within each of the songs. Today we're on track two, which is titled Traitor. And in this video, we have a couple things to watch and listen to. We're going to listen to the lyric version. We're going to watch the music video. And then there is a live performance from the Sour Prom, which is another music video type of thing that I did watch with the Brutal track. So we're kind of following a similar format, but let's just get started. to her maybe did even worse i kept quiet so i could keep you and ain't it funny how you ran to her the second that we called it quits and ain't it funny how you said you were friends now it sure as hell don't look Oh, okay, wait, before we get into the chorus, I kind of want to talk about the first lyrics. Um, reading it back, it says, Brown guilty eyes and little white lies. Yeah, I played dumb, but I always knew that you talked to her, maybe did even worse. I kept quiet so I can keep you. And ain't it funny how you ran to her the second that we called it quits. Ain't it funny how you said you were friends, now it sure as hell don't look like it. So, so far the vibe that I've gotten from Sour in total is that it is very autobiographical almost like devastatingly so and i mean that in a good way it just seems like it's very much a rip page out of a diary and i guess i kind of thought about that because in this lyric video it opens a composition book which i feel like could commonly be used as a diary so it's almost like we're talking amongst friends about a situation that this person went through so i really like the vulnerability that i feel like comes with these songs also, I'm not sure how many times it's happened since it started, but I feel like I can notice some weird auto-focusing going on on this video, so I apologize if it continues or if it's happened at all. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this. <laughs> the funny thing is that the autofocus didn't even seem to be the problem of the video. It's the fact that I look like a ghost, but I think that might be a product of not having the most expensive green screen or setup in general. So you win some and lose some, but I just felt the need to mention that as well. But in regards to the actual lyrics, I feel like this is such a realistic take on insecurity. Because when you have something that you can't get your mind off of, you will try any version to distract yourself. And I almost feel like this is something that she had to do for this situation with this relationship. Because when she says, I kept quiet so I could keep you, that's almost like you chose not to talk about it with the people around you in your life because you kind of know what their response is. So that kind of tells me that you knew better or like you just knew like the outcome that would come by talking about the problems that you're having within your relationships. And I feel like it even takes it a step deeper by saying I played dumb, but I always knew because I feel like the only person you're lying to there is yourself. And that is like a very deep rooted insecurity that you feel like the only way to save a relationship is to not talk about the problems. And that just shows that it's probably a very big red flag. But let's continue listening to see where this goes. That was a really like knife in the gut twist um the chorus said you betrayed me and i know that you'll never feel sorry for the way i hurt yeah you talked to her when we were together loved you at your worst but that didn't matter it took you two weeks to go off and date her guess you didn't cheat but you're still a traitor i keep saying the word insecurity but i feel like this is what creates insecurity in people especially for future relationships because i feel like you take your the lessons that you've learned in your last relationship into your new one and for someone like Olivia Rodrigo or the narrator of this song, um, you kind of conditioned yourself. You kind of, in that last relationship, you kind of conditioned yourself to 
not believe it or overlook certain things. So now when you're in a new relationship that might genuinely be better for you, I feel like you're going to have those haunts again of thinking of always being paranoid that this person isn't good for you. And I feel like that could also lead to almost self-sabotaging new relationships just because the other person from that last relationship left you so damaged in a way. Also, two weeks to go off and date someone is very little courtesy to that other person. Um, I'm not saying that you have to live for your past relationships or like be cordial to people that you no longer have in your life, but I do feel like it is in poor taste to maybe be with the person that you swore meant nothing in less than a month. <laughs> that has to be another harsh reality to kind of grasp once you find out about that. Um, I feel like I feel like that is the type of relationship that you would want to block that person immediately after the end of the relationship to maybe kind of save yourself from that feeling. But overall, I really like that she highlights that it's not always cheating that just hurts people because I'm not going to rehash kind of everything I just said about how this can be damaging to a person, but it really is just showing that trust is such a huge part about a relationship and just the lack of it can be so damaging to people. Now you bring her around Just to shut me down Show her off like she's a new trophy And I know if you were true There's no damn way that you Could fall in love with somebody that quickly Ain't it funny? All the twisted games All the questions you used to avoid Oh, that's some gaslighting in those lyrics. <laughs> uh, that second verse said, "Now you bring her around just to shut me down, show her off like you're, show her off like she's a new trophy." And I know if you were true, there's no damn way that you could fall in love with someone that quickly. Ain't it funny? All the twisted games, all the questions that you used to avoid. Ain't it funny? Remember, I brought her up, and you told me I was paranoid. So I have a lot of questions about that just because why are they around each other? <laughs> um, I feel like most relationships would not allow that kind of interaction to happen, but I guess it's not always avoidable. Um, I'm kind of thinking of like a scenario of like school, like, you know, high school, just because you broke up doesn't mean that you don't have to see each other every day, maybe even a job or just something in general that you kind of just can't avoid. But it just seems like you would go to a lot of lengths to avoid that kind of situation. But now I'm kind of thinking about the dynamics of this relationship a little bit differently. Because now she's almost accusing this person of being intentional with trying to hurt her. Because I felt like the whole theme of the song was just about this person's somewhat infidelity. And I still think that's true. But now this person is taking it a step farther by showing the ex. That's exactly what I told you not to worry about. Which I feel like makes it so much more, excuse my language, but fucked up. Like, ooh. And then the last lyric is the one that I kind of referred to a little bit about gaslighting because remember when I brought her up and you told me I was paranoid? I feel like that's such a clear indication of you are worried about this person and you don't want the current girlfriend to go look into that other person because they're going to find the links between it. I feel like it is very common to say that cheating or lies and secrets, they all come out eventually. You might be able to hide them some longer than others, but at the end of the day, you can't cover your tracks 100% of the time. Kind of puts everyone in a tough situation. But the only thing, and I don't want to defend this awful sounding person or guy, whoever it is, but I will give them somewhat credit in this and say at least they did break up with the person or there was a breakup before they fully got with the other person because I do think actual cheating is clearly 10 times worse. But I feel like this person is using that as their defense and that's what makes them an awful person if that makes sense because had you met someone else you would have just broken up and said yes like i'm so sorry i kind of fell out of love with you but i have feelings for someone else i know this is fucked up but you know there's different ways of going about that but i feel like with this one it was you integrated that person into your life under false pretenses and yes, maybe you didn't cross certain lines physically or whatever it may be, but at the end of the day, you made sure this person was in your life without breaking up with your current partner. And I feel like that's what makes this person almost worse in a way. But 
they do have some maybe redeemable qualities there. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about said guy. <laughs> you betrayed me, and I know that you'll never feel so. Man, I forgot to stop because so much happened from the bridge onto the end of the song. But one thing I haven't gotten a chance to compliment is her vocals on this because it is so vulnerable in her voice also when she hits that high note and then kind of goes back into the softer sound when she's kind of just explaining the end of that relationship. So I really liked what she did with that. Um, but going back to that bridge, it says, God, I wish you would have thought this through before I went and fell in love with you. When she's sleeping in the bed we made, don't you dare forget about the way that you betrayed me. I feel like I've changed my story three times with this song, but now it's also making me wonder, did they know, did he have feelings for this person before he was even with the current girlfriend? Because if you're asking that you wish he thought this through before you went and fell in love with him, that kind of makes me think that he knew of this person before and he still allowed you to be in that relationship or fall for him, or he was doing things to make you fall in love while that other person maybe was already in his life and, and he was kind of pursuing that person on the other side. So I feel like this song has a lot of layers that I'm just like barely um, scratching the surface on. I think this song was very well written, especially I keep going back to, and I don't mean this to undermine her writing. It's more of like an, it's more like a compliment or an emphasis on how young she is. And I think people can make great art at any age. It's not like an age requirement that you can't have a good song until you're 20. But I feel like her age just further complements how talented she really is. So I definitely enjoyed this track so far. But now let's get into the music video. The, the opening shot is using my somewhat shoddy green screen that I use. <laughs> to her maybe did even worse i kept quiet so i could keep you and ain't it funny how you ran to her the second that we called it quits what an interesting looking truck i feel like that is something that i would see in my hometown to be honest and ain't it funny how you said you were friends now it's sure Okay, so what's really interesting about this video is 
I've seen two videos from her now and Brutal was kind of over the top. So far this one is very simplistic. So I feel like maybe she's making this one a little bit more simplistic just because she wants to focus on the lyrics because like I mentioned in like the lyric video, I think it's a very well written song so maybe she doesn't want to drive a lot of attention outside of the actual music that she's making. Um, and you can definitely see the 90s influences or even early 2000s of her with this like uh, camcorder. But I still kind of go back to a thought that I had in the Brutal music video where I just think I don't understand um, Olivia Rodrigo's music videos a little bit. Maybe this one will become a little bit more clear. And I said it in my Brutal video as well is that not every video has to be over plot heavy or anything like that. It can be exactly what you want in your vision. And clearly she has a vision for these. I just never really grasped them so far. <laughs> Shut me down, show her off like she's a new trophy And I know if you were true There's no damn way that you could fall in love with somebody that quickly Ain't it funny? All the twisted games, all the questions you used to avoid Like, maybe I'm just, again, showing my age a little bit, but I'm trying so hard to figure out a plot. Like, why are we breaking into the school at night? We're going to the swimming pool. Is this maybe a place that you guys met? Is this where you found out that you were being, like, cheated on? Maybe I just read too much into things and that might be a flaw on my end, but I try so hard <laughs> to figure this out. reminds me a little bit of like a montage of like a teenage coming of age movie and maybe that's actually the plot maybe i figured something out i don't know but that's like the only thoughts i really have about this video Second time around, I will say that that high note is just as amazing every time you hear it, but I have no idea what this video is trying to tell me, so if you know, please let me know. I am like a lost puppy here. Um, it seemed very simplistic and just like, you know, like, again, kind of like a coming of age type of thing, but then we end up in a space door and her walking out and like up until that point, all we had seen was her out of school and swimming in a pool. So I don't know <laughs> what this is trying to tell me, but I feel like this is going to be similar to my Brutal video, and I have a feeling that I'm going to like the Sour Prom video more than the music video. But let's see if we're right. you talk 
talk to her maybe did even worse I kept quiet so I could keep you and ain't it funny how you ran the hurt the second that we called it quit and ain't it funny how you said you were friends now it sure as hell don't look like it you betrayed Genuinely, she has an incredible voice. I think she sounds absolutely beautiful in this uh, rendition of the song. Um, but kind of what I mentioned about, I think I was going to like the Sour Prom video better. I already made up in my head, and this is just my overactive imagination, but a plot for this more than the actual music video. Because in my head, I can see um, this song just being like addressing the cheating or the infidelity in this relationship. And because I said earlier, I kind of got the high school vibe of having to see that person every day. I could see this person at this prom, like almost indirectly singing to the person that has hurt them. Almost like a movie scene where they're getting their moment of trying to say like, look what you did to me. I see you moved on and you're happy, but look at me standing right here. Um, it also reminds me a little bit of the uh, I Bet You Think About Me video from Taylor Swift's uh, Red's album because she's walking around a wedding almost unseen to people and just kind of getting her like revenge. This has nothing to do with revenge, but I could see like people not noticing her in the situation and she's just like narrating this person moving on. And I know that was completely made up. That's probably not Olivia Rodrigo's intention with the sour prom, but I feel like it goes to show that I can come up with a plot for a lot of things. So the music video just had not much for me to work with. Shut me down, show her off like she's a new trophy And I know if you were true There's no damn way that you could fall in love with somebody that quickly And ain't it funny All the twisted games, all the questions you used to avoid Ain't it funny I love the background dancers. They were really good in the brutal video. And then they also just kind of keep the video entertaining. <laughs> One of my favorite parts just now is almost like making her lead a Congo line. And again, I have an overactive imagination, but it's almost like thinking about friends moving, helping. It's almost thinking about friends helping you move on. They're almost pushing you into a situation where you have to put yourself out there again and try to find yourself and just like grow from the situation. But so far, I really like this performance. You betrayed me, and I know that you'll never feel sorry for the way I heard. Yeah, you talked to her when we were together, loved you at your worst, but that didn't matter. It took you two weeks to go off and date her. Guess you. That note was really, really good. I feel like it almost added a little bit of like anger in that lyric because I feel like the studio version had a little bit more of like, I'm sad about the situation, but this one's like, I'm sad, but I'm also like really pissed off.
through before I went and fell in love with you. That high note, wow. Again, all I can really say was incredible. The only thing I will say is that I wonder, um, I wonder if that had a little bit of something added to it just because the Sour Prom is live and I do think a lot of that is live vocals, but it is also produced by the artist. So I feel like that goes without saying that there's probably some added effects on these songs. But regardless of the fact, that is not negating that she is absolutely talented when it comes to being a vocalist. Um, and I feel like she really showcased that with this song. So overall, I think the songwriting and the vocal delivery on this song was 10 out of 10. Um, I will go back and say that in the Brutal video, I kind of mentioned that I hope that she didn't cling to very relatable things because I felt like that was going to get stale very quickly. And she's already proven me wrong with this because while I think this song and this topic is very relatable, she really made it her own to where you can relate to it but also apply it to your own life. And I think that's the perfect balance of what I was trying to get out in my last video. So I'm glad that it seems like she knows that difference when she comes to, when it comes to her songwriting. So overall, I was in very impressed with this track, but tell me what you thought of the song. Tell me if you have any perspective to add about this song, but thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.